And going under the drill, laying back in your dentist chair can leave many of you feeling vulnerable. That's right, especially after Team 10 investigation found those in charge of policing dentistry are paid by dentists on probation. Team 10 investigator Mitch Blocker is here with what sounds like a conflict of interest, Mitch. Kim and Steve, there are patients all over the state who feel it is a conflict of interest. We found Dennis still working even after stealing from burning and sexually violating patients. This, as long as they paid the state agency in charge of dental licensing tens of thousands of dollars in fees and fines. In California, a trip to the dentist can be a game of chance. Several things went wrong. The patient's face actually ignited. Patients told us what they didn't know changed their lives forever. Never knew my dentist was on probation. What we found disturbed a state lawmaker. The cases you've brought to my attention are certainly horrifying cases. I would hope that those people aren't practicing dentistry today. But they are. In California, dentists do not have to tell patients if their license is on probation or why it got put there. They can keep their mistakes secret, and Team 10 found hundreds of secrets, including some dentists who had been prosecuted criminally but were still in practice. We found a Poway dentist still licensed after he put a camera in the employee's restroom so he could, quote, see how they pee. Rancho Bernardo dentist Ray Michael Smith was still licensed after during a cosmetic procedure, a fire erupted, burning the patient's tongue, lips, cheeks, eyelids, and hair. The state dental board allowed him to keep practicing as long as he paid fines and fees. He paid more than $80,000 to the state dental board and kept practicing until seven years later, a 15-year-old boy died under his care when Smith gave him a lethal dose of anesthesia. Does the Dental Board of California care more about protecting dentists or protecting the public? More about protecting the public. They're Even. real clear on that. Richard DeCure was the executive director of California's Dental Board. He left the agency shortly after this interview. He told us how the Dental Board regulates dentists and also collects licensing fees, which DeCure told us is how the agency makes money. So it's advantageous for your organization to renew as many licenses as possible to, to uh, stay funded. Yes, that, you are correct. So as far as the you get money from the same people you're supposed to be policing. Understood. No conflict of interest. I don't feel there's a conflict of interest. Do you see how some would think sure, there is? I do. Shortly after this interview, but before DeCure left the dental board, the agency forced California dentists to post signs like these in their offices. The signs let patients know where to find information about their dentists online. Now, if you have questions about your dentist, you can check it out online at the Dental Board's website, just as we did. We have a shortcut on 10news.com. All you have to do is click on Team 10 Investigates. It's not something you hear about a lot. How many dentists did you find on probation? We, we looked at licenses from about 300 different probationary dentists. Now, there are 40,000 plus dentists in California who are licensed. Those 300 that we looked up, though, paid more than a million dollars in fines to keep uh, the ability to practice. Keep it all in good standing. Yeah. Wow. Unbelievable. Interesting. Thank you.